Okay, so these right now have just been like the easiest to do, so this is what we're doing right now. My hair is a hot mess express, yes, and gray wear. <laughs> so, okay, let's see, life updates. So, went camping, survived, barely. Um, literally didn't know anything about anything. I don't think I talked about this in the last video, even though I think that was after like I went camping. But yeah, that was a really interesting experience. Got really sick in the desert. Um, it was a hot mess express. Also, yes, I am still seeing this man. Am I still very confused? Sorry, yes, this is still dirty. <laughs> yeah, no, so I'm still seeing this guy. Um, I, so, I'm kind of intrigued because, so, okay, when I graduated from college, when I moved home, it was literally right after I graduated, and it was because I left an ex. Like, it was a really bad relationship. We broke up. Like, we needed to separate. It had been, it was just awful. So, I separated. So, then I was here for three years, and then I moved to Arizona. So, fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> to me seeing this guy here after my last terrible relationship. So I've been hanging out with him and like he, like I will ask questions and like sometimes he like straight up will like be like processing something and like he'll respond but not like fully. So I'm just like, what the hell? And I'm like, I think he's very intellectual and so I'm like, I know and knowing how my brain works I'm like I'm sure you're thinking about a million other things right now but I am literally right in front of you right now so I would love some undivided attention so I am just like I don't know like where his brain is at half the time but we have a good time I hang out with him and his friends and that's the other sorry these are like really dirty and I look a hot mess so like no judgment right now please and thank you um so like he brings me around his friends and I'm like we've I mean like obviously when you start seeing someone like you want to bring them around your friends before you like decide to actually like make it official right because you want to see if they get like the stamp of approval I think I've met like literally every single one of his friends and he gets so weird in front of them like we hung out with two sets of friends so like it, it's just like I'm just like why in front of his roommates it's fine but in front of his friends it's just like it's just weird. So I don't know. This weekend was really interesting. Had a really, really good time. Had a great time with his friends. But his behavior changes around people. And I'm like, I don't know if I make you feel uncomfortable. And I don't think that's the case. Because, like, I am very, like, I talk about everything. So I'm just like, it's you. <laughs> it's not me. I promise. I promise. It's not me. So, yeah, that's been really interesting. Um, and just, like, the way he communicates in general is just like not how I communicate at all and he's from the east coast I'm like this is like you communicate like you're a Californian surfer and you're not not even close so I'm just like what happened here but he's also very direct so I don't know it's very confusing my friend Candy and I always have been having conversations about this and she's like I talked to someone from the east coast the other day and I totally know what you're talking about now <laughs> she's from the east coast and I'm like I think she forgets what it's like to like live there and be around those people but like it's a different life folks um anyway so it's yeah we're seeing each other I enjoy him I think he enjoys me he likes to keep it that way um his roommate though the other night called this mom and dad and I was like honey we haven't even established if we're in a relationship yet you can't put things like that on me friends and his roommate straight up called me his girlfriend the other day and I was like sister first of all I've known this man for two months two months two months um that's the crazy thing about all of this I have met all of his friends I think that like live in California a majority of them if not all of them um in like a matter of two months time span meeting him he isn't meeting my friends because my friends are all pregnant I'm not even seeing my friends right now because they're like you're doing too much you can't come see us and I'm like <laughs> but also like I gotta do my things you know so um I understand I love them but yeah it's been a nightmare and a half so it just COVID has just made life so much more difficult um so yeah but yeah it's weird because she like she straight up called me his girlfriend and luckily he was not around and I was just like hunt like she was wasted and he the guy that she was talking to was like oh my gosh you're Carly I've heard so much about you from this girl who is his roommate and I'm like oh I love you but I'm just like 
I don't even know what we are, honey. So like, you cannot call me his girlfriend because I think that would send him running out the freaking door. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 okay. So the story. So he, so I ended my relationship and then moved out here. I'm still dealing with that. Oh, by the way, may have to go testify in court for that. I'm so mad. Like, can I just tell you, like, take accountability for your actions because in life, like, if you don't own your things, you're never going to get anywhere. And uh, my ex doesn't want to own up to anything. So I'm just like, mm -hmm, strike, you're done. Um, yeah, so I may have to go and testify in court because he's being a complete POS. So, gotta love it. But, um, so we were at the beach last weekend and this kid, this guy is like, oh, like, what brought you out to California? And so, um, to like all of the people that are there because we didn't know them and the, he was like oh yeah like I ended up like an ex and I was like so he wasn't like he, he like had a relationship and come out I don't think he's been in a relationship since he moved out here that was six years ago folks so I'm just kind of like okay you haven't even been in a relationship in six years now I ended my last relationship and I jumped into another one three years later but that was three like everyone was like Carly you went three years without a relationship and I was like yeah like I saw people but like they were not worth dating so he hasn't dated anyone in a long time I don't think like really consistently or care I don't I don't really know how to like explain that but I think anyone on the other receiving end of this will know what I mean like I feel I, I met him on a dating app and so first of all like that's like I don't even know how that's happening but it's COVID like quarantine is such a weird time so I met him on hinge and um like we hit it off like immediately I think I've said that in my other videos and um so it's been a really really interesting time in quarantine however I have like no idea what is going on I mean I do but the problem with all of this is that we've been seeing each other for such a short amount of time but we've seen each other a lot so it's like you know when you know someone and you've known them for a long time like things are just very easy very casual we haven't known each other long enough for that and so like our antics and like our banter like we it's just not the, like we just don't know and so there are sometimes when we have a conversation like there, this has gotten better but there were sometimes when we were having conversations and I swear we were literally saying the same thing and like the two of us were like literally going like this so it's been a really <laughs> really interesting situation but also like I was gonna do a whole like tinder blog like I was gonna do the whole thing because I had the time <laughs> and uh, that's not I mean I just I don't feel right about doing that anymore I think he would freaking murder me but also like I, 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 I do care about this human so I'm just like I guess I'm not gonna go see everyone else but he's like monopolized my time and I think like purposely for that like since I've known, like, since we've met, I've seen him, like, three or four times. One time I saw him, like, I think, like, five times in one week because we went camping, and I was like, bro, how, I was like, I don't like myself for that many days of the week. I don't know how you put up with me for that long. Um, but, yeah, so we see each other, like, a lot, and so, yeah, it just, it wouldn't be right. But, yeah, that's what I was going to do, and then this man just, like, crash landed in my life. So, I'm trying to figure it all out, um, and then on top of that, just, like, working, um, trying to, you know, figure all that fun stuff out. So, you know, it's just been one thing after another, but I'm going to coffee right now. I'm going to go work, hopefully get some things done, and then I have to go get holes drilled in the front of my tire, and then I have to go air put in my tire, and, oh. But my nails also are not done. Um, I'm like, okay, so I think my nails have been done like since I moved to Arizona. Like I don't think I haven't had nails on my fingers in like forever. And I haven't since quarantine happened. I didn't have them on at the beginning and then me and my sister went and got them done. And then I, I had to take them off again and I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna put them back on because schools are now in California not going back now until I think November or after November if they even go back. So I'm just like, our salon's gonna get shut down again. Regardless, I have press-ons and things like that. And you can get really nice press-ons. Like, and that's what I wore during quarantine. So I'm probably just gonna go back to doing that because I don't have the energy or time. I guess, I don't know. I don't have the, it's not fun to go get my nails done anymore because I'm like freaking out the whole time because I'm like, oh, am I gonna get sick from this? Because like they're drilling into your freaking hand. You're around other people. Also, um, 
yeah, just it, the whole situation is just has COVID written all over it. But regardless, it's just not fun. Like you used to go in there and relax. You have to sit there with a mask on. Also, I need to wash like all of my masks because I think I realized that's why my face is breaking out. Um, but yeah, so I realized I need to wash my mask because I think that's why my face has been breaking out. So, you know, gotta love it. Just adult things to do today. So, 